Ghosts in Doom. You may have encountered one at some point. An archer resurrects a crushed corpse, and a revived demon can suddenly walk through walls. It cannot be damaged. Only explosives and demon melee attacks can kill them. But these are not the ghosts we will talk about. Oh no. The ghosts we're talking about are caused by an extremely rare bug that doesn't involve archfiles. The Intercepts Overflow. Or more commonly known as the All Ghosts Effect. Let's start from the beginning. We're going to talk about block maps once again. To refresh your memory, the block map is a grid of 128 by 128 blocks that is used to speed up collision checks. Instead of checking every line and object in the level, and if they collided with each other, we only check for lines and objects inside a block. The block map is also used, for example, when you fire your pistol. Your pistol shot travels 2048 map units far, so let's draw a line from point A to point B. As you can see, this line crosses several blocks. It starts at the block where the shot was fired, then checks if the shot crosses any lines or objects. There are three lines, all walls in this case, and one object, the player. None of these collide with the pistol shot, so let's move on to the second block. We do the same thing here. In the second block, the gunshot crosses an object on the line. Anything that comes across the gunshot's path is called an intercept. Each intercept is stored in an array that can hold 128 intercepts in total. It is important to note that whenever a ray cast is traversing through the block map, the intercept area is emptied the moment a new ray cast is shot. Shooting 20 pellets with the super shotgun doesn't mean the area fills up 20 times more. Each pellet will traverse the intercept area individually. There is one tiny oversight however, and that's when the bullet encounters over 128 intercepts. The area can only hold 128 intercepts, and there is no limit checker. If your gunshot encounters, let's say, 130 intercepts, it will write two intercepts beyond the array's boundary, and illegally overwrite memory that has nothing to do with intercepts. This is called the intercepts overflow. Each intercept is 12 bytes in length, so with each access intercept, it will illegally overwrite 12 bytes of memory. In Vanilla Doom, the memory addresses beyond the intercepts array are always the same. 12 bytes beyond the intercepts array, you'll find memory addresses that are used for raycast trajectory calculations. Nothing interesting happens if you override these. After 176 bytes, we'll find some interesting memory addresses. The next 40 bytes contain info about the map's player starts. These are used in co-op mode to respawn players. And by overwriting these, you'll get some strange side effects where the player cannot respawn properly. but its corpse can still turn around. After 220 bytes, it will start overwriting block map data. Mind you, the block map is used for collision stuff. The first 4 byte value found is used for the block map width. At offset 228, we find the block map origin's x coordinate. At offset 232, we find the block map origin's y coordinate. And at offset 240, we find the block map height. We mentioned each intercept being 12 bytes in length. So to reach offset 220, we're going to need 19 access intercepts, 147 intercepts in total. We have now corrupted the block map width, and collision is all fricked up. If you have another extra intercept, 148, you'll overwrite the block map origin's coordinates as well. Overriding the origin's coordinates will cause the block map to shift. Interestingly, the second integer the intercept data holds is a check if it intercepted a line or an object. If the 147th intercept is a wall, then the block map width will corrupt the value to 1. If object, then the width corrupts to 0. By having a width of 1, you'll still have a working block map, but only the most western blocks will work. Anything outside those blocks will break any collision check. So, what can you do when the all ghost effect triggers? Well, not much. Floor heights are still taken into account, so we cannot just step up lower walls that are over 24 units in height. Enemies can only hurt you through melee attacks. And so will archfall zaps, except the blast damage. You cannot hurt enemies in any way. Blast damage requires the block map for line of sight checks, though that doesn't work either. Damaging floors can still hurt. Rushing ceilings do not. 
You cannot interact with switches. Or teleporters. The only way to exit the level is through a death exit damaging floor. Are there any benefits to triggering this bug? Well, if the level has a death exit, then it's perfect for speedrunning. Can it be used to trigger Eform 3's broken secrets? As a matter of fact, yes. Yes you can. If you play on Nightmare difficulty or with respawning monsters enabled, you can spawn camp a zombie until it drops 147 items. Then you simply shoot over them to trigger the overflow. Unfortunately, there is no way to reach the exit. But if you save and reload, the block map gets restored and you can finish the map with 100% secrets without using cheats. Too bad it's not demo compatible, so it doesn't count. What about Doom 2's map 30? Does this open up any possibilities for a pacifist run? Overflowing the intercepts array can be done rather easily here actually. Just don't fire any shots to not wake up spawning enemies and after around 2.5 hours you will have 147 corpses stacked on top of each other. Shoot through it once and there you go, ghosts. So can we reach Romero's head somehow? Unfortunately not, as he's too high up. What if we arch for jump to the brain opening? Nope, the game still checks for floors and ceilings, so we cannot fit through the brain. Let's say there is a way to get into the brain room. Then there still isn't much you can do. Enemies will never get in here and none of the enemy attacks can damage John. Even if you save and reload the game, there's still no way for enemy attacks to reach Jimmy Boy. Oh well, worth a try. As demonstrated earlier, it's really easy to trigger the all ghost effect by stacking objects in the level editor or using the icon of sin. But you'll never encounter anything like that during a real run. So how come the all ghost effect gets triggered here in Nut 21? The super shotgun hits a shotgunner and a wall. And everything turns into a ghost. What caused the intercept overflow with seemingly only two intercepts? For that, we need to take a look how the ray cast travels through the block map. The game knows the pallet's starting point and the point where it ends. To traverse through each affected block, the engine calculates how many horizontal and vertical steps it takes to reach the end. When the first block is done traversing its intercepts, we need to move on to the next block. We calculated earlier how much a single step is for both the X and Y axes to the next block. With each intercept check, we take the same steps until we reach the end. Nearly 100% of the time, these steps are calculated correctly, but Doom's fractional values aren't super accurate. Normally you'd use floating point values to represent these, but back then, these were too heavy on the CPU, so it used fixed point numbers instead. They are stored as 32-bit integers, with the upper 16 bits representing integral numbers, and the lower 16 bits the fractional number. As you can see, working with only 16 bits really narrows down the fractional precision. Very rarely a rounding error may occur, and this error is exactly what's causing the overflow. So the game is trying to step to the next block, but the step is slightly off and rounds down to the previous block. It keeps trying, but it never advances. The intercepts are still caught with each iteration however, so if the raycast happens to get stuck in a block with a couple of lines and objects, the error fills up rather quickly. Thankfully, its software added a failsafe where after 64 iterations the ray cast stops traversing, so it won't get stuck in an infinite loop, but the damage has already been done. If you're unlucky, the stuck pallet finds enough intercepts in the block to overflow the array, and the all ghost effect gets triggered unwillingly. So is there any way to willingly overflow the intercepts without relying on stacked corpses? Can you get a ray cast stuck on command on a block with a lot of intercepts? Unfortunately, your position and angle need to be absolutely dead on. Remember fixed point variables? Yeah, they're used for your position and angle as well. You would need to find the exact fraction of values that cause a rounding error, and that is nearly impossible to achieve. The all ghost effect is rare for a reason, and that's because the precision required, and bad luck, is astronomical. Of course, in maps that have very populated blocks, this may happen more often than usual, but chances are high, you will never encounter this bug in your life. For reference, I've been playing Doom for hundreds of hours for the last two and a half years, and I've only unwillingly encountered the bug twice. Enough said.
This was probably the most undocumented Doom topic I've had to cover so far. Just like the explosions video, I've got a feeling there's more stuff to discover, but we'll see if there will be a follow-up video. I hope you found this month's analysis video fun and interesting. I definitely had fun debugging Doom's code, and finding all these discoveries really activated my almonds. I would like to thank my patrons for their monthly support, and give a shout out to 19day, Andrew Valentine, Andrew Yukimchuk, Andri Dicklin, Andri Thicklin, oh god, Art Cox, Basil, Peaks Make Me Coom, Bouncy Bob, Kappa Bitch, Chief Kotrake, Cyprian Rusen, Fabrizio Araya, Jesse Bevins, Joseph Shans, Karma1233, Katsuna Teku, Kimi Danger, Hideo Gorobets, Matthew Murrican, Matia Sippert, Hiroshi, Quake Gamer632, Raven King, Ryan Quinn, Robert Wakeley, Sean Wang, Tensodai93, Chaix999, Steven Alustic, Takokami, The Bell Tolls, Thomas, Tim Gerasimov, Turbine2k5, Victorik Moe, and Vladimir Zhekov. Have a nice day, and see you all in the next one.